there were major changes planned for the next two years. Apart from the new buildings, Gibraltar can expect the introduction of co-education, the realignment of key stages and the focus on vocational pathways. The new Director of Education is confident teachers will rise to the challenge. But how will he ensure this minimum disruption? I have not got a problem uh, in terms of envisaging that our, our teachers will rise to the clear uh, challenges that, that are ahead. And, but we will cope. We will cope uh, perfectly and we will throw the support that we need and our, our teachers will, will rise to the challenge for sure. There will be a minimum disruption with all the changes that, that are on the pipeline. So plans for the next two years include those eight new schools. So at this stage, what kind of details can you reveal? I, I can tell you, you can expect uh, a complete rehaul in, in terms of eight schools. We're looking at eight schools be this in building new schools or in relocating schools, moving them in such a way that de facto they become new schools. But the thing is... So that some new locations at least. Uh, for sure, some new locations at least, you, you can count on that. Um, the projects are commercially sensitive, so I, I'm not privy to disclose um, what's happening. But, uh, but it's, it's no secret that, that um, I can tell you, for example, the, the Bayside is, it's no secret that it's, it's a school that's clearly going to um, develop from, from where it is and, and, and there's going to be happenings there. Darren Gregg accepts that exams at secondary level have become harder, saying specialist teaching needs to start earlier, with secondary schools in future gaining an additional year to deal with this. But what about those directly affected now? For example, I know that in one of the subjects at AS levels, there was something like 43% of U's. I mean, surely something's not quite right here. Of course. And I'm not going to stand here and, and defend that which cannot be defended. Uh, where we see pockets of deficiencies, where we see results that are not to our liking, and we need to look deeper as, as, uh, to find the reasons as to why these results are what they are, but if it's been as a result of, let's just argue, poor teaching, then clearly it is not acceptable, absolutely not acceptable. We have, we have a, a systems and procedures to, to deal with what is not acceptable, and we will be looking at those results carefully and, and applying um, whatever, uh, throwing whatever support we can, but also, you know, it's a combination of silk and steel. We, we have to have a look at, at what's happening. Vocational pathways are something that will be developed further, with the director saying there's a revolution planned for the Gibraltar College. Uh, the Gibraltar College will not necessarily be the third institution that tries to compete uh, with Westside and Bayside to be the same, but actually the Gibraltar College stands on its own by, deem by being different by being an institution that provides a certain diet of vocational pathways married to it being an institution where there is another opportunity for second time learners, for second time uh, for people who are taking exams again because perhaps at a particular point in time they weren't ready, they hadn't quite reached the maturity, they didn't have the support. So the kind of, 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 of if you like, evolution in terms of education is one where we are going to have the standard academic exams, GCSEs, A-levels, university pathway, but running parallel to that, we want to have these vocational pathways sitting there and running at the same time so that kids, kids have a greater amount of choice. The quality of teaching is something he also raises. Darren Gregg says the future running of PGCE teaching qualifications from the Gibraltar University will ensure there's a greater control over the recruitment process and subsequent delivery of service.